Hi, we have a wonderful meal tonight, hopefully. I think it's gonna be wonderful, but I always do. So um, tonight we're going to do um, spaghetti squash with a lemon and spinach and, and pine nuts and all these other little things going in. But first we have to roast our spaghetti squash. So this little thing here is a spaghetti squash and it doesn't really taste like spaghetti. It just, when we cook it and then you peel it out with a fork in the insides, um, it comes out looking like spaghetti, the long strands of it. So think of it more as a pasta looking kind of thing, not really tasting like spaghetti. Not that spaghetti tastes like a whole lot anyways, what you put on it, which is kind of this. It's kind of what you put on it that makes it good. And we're gonna put some good stuff on it. So, um, so to do this, first, we take a very sharp knife, very carefully, and try not to kill ourselves. Um, the oven, by the way, is going to 400 degrees. I've got it started on 400 degrees. And now I want to cut through this, and it's, it can be really scary, because it, it's a very tough shell. So you wanna be very careful as you're cutting through this. I'm going to just kinda of cut a little bit at a time through here. The uh, outer hole of these things are pretty darn tough. So, get this cut. This way and go this direction. through. Okay, that is what spaghetti squash looks like on the inside. It's kind of like a pumpkin. I mean, it's a gourd, just like a pumpkin is. So um, we have to de-seed the inside, just like you would if you were carving a pumpkin and making a jack-o'-lantern out of it. So um, I've just got a sharp edged spoon here. This is actually for like grapefruit, but use it for this kind of thing too. And all you gotta do is dig in here and get the seeds out. Kinda gooey, kinda messy, but it's okay. Get all the seeds and the kind of little soft, softer parts here. Make sure you get all of it. Want to hide down in there. Okay, that's pretty well cleaned out there. You can see how it's already kind of shredding, kind of like spaghetti. So that's what it will come out as cooked. Get a little more of this out of here. And then we'll do the second half. And then last of that out. Okay, I got all the seeds. Yep, all the seeds are out. So, now that it has been 
halved and seated, we're going to get rid of our seeds. And we're going to use new parchment paper on top of a baking sheet. And what we're just going to do now is do just a little bit. We don't want to get too much oil in because it can turn the um, spaghetti squash pretty mushy. So we want to just do a little bit of oil. I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil here, a little bit of olive oil there, and I'm going to use a little kind of basting brush to just kind of rub the oil around inside and on the surface here. Same over here, just a little bit of oil I put in there. Right around. All right, and with that then, I'm gonna put those over here for just a second. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper in. Bit of salt. And then we put the sides, the cut sides down, like so. We take a fork, hopefully a strong fork because these holes are pretty tight. But you want to put kind of like with a with a potato when you are baking it, you want to put some fork holes in to kind of release the steam. So we're gonna do that with. two halves here. halves of spaghetti squash. A little bit of seasoning on them. We'll be able to add more later. Parchment paper, seated, getting squared away. Dog at my feet. Oh, dogs. Because, you know, no, but then when they feel the oven open up, they scoot away. All right, we're going to throw these in here. About uh, on our stove or oven, it's probably going to be 20, 25 minutes maybe. Um, we'll check it. Should be kind of golden brown around it when we're when it's done. Then when we come back, we'll do the rest of our meal. But you'll see when we come back that how good it looks and tastes and all that. So anyway, we'll see you in a minute. All right, so we've still got 10 or 15 minutes roasting the spaghetti squash. So what, in the meantime now, I'm going to start sauteing some mushrooms. So I've got a pan over here heating up and I'm going to, I've got uh, three large mushrooms, white mushrooms. I just kind of cut them in half and then sliced down so that they're large chunks. And we'll just transfer them over here to the pan. Take out a spatula and I'm just going to kind of make sure that everybody gets a chance to jump into the oil down there that I put in. A little bit of olive oil. And in fact, I might just add a little bit more. I'm just going to let them sit over some medium heat turn kind of brown and soften up a little bit. I don't want to get them too soft. We want a little bit of texture to them when we put them on with the uh, spaghetti squash. Because what we're going to end up doing is tossing these in, um, some spinach, some pesto sauce, some pine nuts, a little bit of lemon juice all mixed in. So it'll be tasty, I think. Um, but we just need to saute these while, these, while this is going. So once uh, we're done,
we're done with the sauteing and with the roasting, we'll be back. All right, I think we are ready to check on things. Our, our mushrooms are well sauteed. I'm going to open our 400 degree oven here and feel like I'm back in Phoenix. Ugh. All right, it's looking like it's golden brown around the edges down there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but golden brown kind of around the edges, which tells me it's probably pretty darn ready to be out of there. Turn off our oven. And let's give it a flip over to see how she looks. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. That one, and... Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, what we now need to do, preferably without burning ourselves, um, we're going to put about two cups of baby spinach in this large bowl. I'm going to kind of tear it as it goes in there, so make some smaller pieces. I'm just going to tear that up. You got your day's aggressions on your spinach if you want. Put a little more in. I was gonna say it's about two cups, but spinach is good for you, so let's add some more in. All right, we're going to then we'll come back to the lemons. We'll come back to all this stuff in just a few minutes. I'm going to bring, if I can figure out how to do this safely, um, I'm going to. I want to bring my. Um, how do I want to do this? I guess we'll just do it this way. Bring it to here. And we'll bring this to here. Okay. Now, you just take a fork and you scrape the middle of this stuff and it just comes right out. Just fluffs right out like. Like I said, kind of like strands of spaghetti. You can go all around the edges. I'm going to dump that into our spinach. And the heat of the um, spaghetti squash will wilt a little bit on the spinach, which is what we want it to do. Ah, oops. Okay, come back here. It's a little trickier. Get down to the bottom. Less to hold on to. All right, that's good for that side. And we'll do this side. See, then should just come right out like that. Nice and easy. And we'll see if we can't grab this and dump it. Without dumping the whole thing in? Well, okay, maybe I'll just do this. Might be a little bit easier. Just scrape it right in.
I could probably get a little more out of there, but we got a pretty good chunk out of it. All right, so the spinach is going to get wilted by the heat of the spaghetti squash. And then, we'll get that part out of there. Put that in. And now, I'm going to put these off to the side. Whoop. Whoop. And we want to get a uh, juice of half a lemon. A little juicer thing here. Pick out a couple of the little seeds there. The juice will actually catch them, but it's just easier to get these out now. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna caught a bunch more seeds that were in there, but that's what the juice was for. All right. We are going to throw in our sauteed mushrooms. We are going to um, add in some basil, which is a brand new jar. I haven't opened it up yet, so. I still haven't opened it up yet. Yeah, holy cow. fighting back. It's fighting back, but I'll win because I'm a human and it's a jar. So I'm going to win if it absolutely makes me bring a knife out and stab it. Okay, let me get this open. All right, so we added in some basil. And it's in like a quarter cup. I'm not gonna put in a quarter cup, but put in a good healthy amount. We're going to add in the lemon juice. We're going to add in pine nuts. All this around, dust it all together, put our left foot in and our left foot out and shake it all about. Now, I haven't put the, you can put a little more salt and pepper in if we want to and then we're going to put on some pesto sauce on top of this whole thing. So I'm going to grab a plate and take a quick forkful of our dinner here. I'm going to try to get a pine nut too. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't think it really needs any more seasoning at this point. So I'm going to take some out, put it on this plate here. I'm going to put a little bit of pesto sauce on here. I'm 
Then, for the coup de gras, a little Parmesan cheese on top. A little grated Parmesan cheese, because it's cheese. Okay, so now, with everything else on top of that, now that I know what the taste of it without the pesto and cheese is, I'm gonna try it with the pesto and the cheese. And the mushroom. Mmm, that's really good. So, um, yeah, wow, that's really good. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here so I can have some more of this. Um, spaghetti squash with, roasted with spinach and mushrooms and pine nuts and lemon juice and pesto sauce and wonderfulness. So um, try it, it's really good and we'll see you next time.